To accurately measure the amount of liquid a container can hold, we can use a measuring jug. When using a measuring jug, make sure that you read the scale carefully and use the correct scale. Some measuring jugs show both metric and imperial units of measure. This measuring jug shows metric units on this side, millilitres and litres, and imperial units on the other side. Make sure that the jug is on a level surface before adding any liquid. Make sure that you look to see what divisions the scale goes up in. For example, this scale goes up in 50 millilitres. 50 millilitres, 100 millilitres, 150 millilitres, 200 millilitres, 250 millilitres, 300 millilitres and so on. Sometimes people say mils instead of millilitres. This is fine. Not all the divisions are labelled on measuring containers. If divisions are not labelled, you may sometimes need to estimate the amount. For example, the level of water in this jug. Reading from the metric scale is halfway between 350 millilitres and 400 millilitres. We can estimate that there are about 375 millilitres of liquid in the jug. Some other containers display a scale. For example, a kettle has a scale so that you can measure the amount of water you are filling the kettle with.